welcome back to Sparkle Me Pink. My name is Michelle. And my name is Sophia. And today we're going to be talking about a new subscription service that we have been subscribing to the last yeah. couple of weeks. It is a weekly subscription and it has to do with food. And we it's love food. Yummy. We love my food. Yummy. You have been loving them, huh? Okay, so the service is actually called Home Chef. I have one of the boxes here. We're gonna get into that in a moment. I'm gonna unbox it, show you how it looks and it shipped. Kinda jumping ahead of myself here. Let's backtrack to how we signed up. About six weeks ago, Logan was laying in bed and he's like, I think I'm gonna subscribe to this service. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh, you don't know anything about it. We don't know anybody on it. What is it? Uh, why would it benefit us? And basically to me it just looked like money was coming out of our pockets. We kind of did it on a whim and we have been absolutely in love with this service. I'm not being paid to say this. I have not gotten any of this sent to me to review or sponsored or anything like that. We pay for it out of our own pocket. I do have a referral link down below. I do appreciate you using it as I get kind of a kickback for you clicking through there and subscribing if that's what you decide to do. And I also have a coupon code for you to save $30 off your first order. Definitely worth checking out if you like hearing all of the details. I kind of go into it a little bit further. Are you excited? Yeah, and All right. I will be showing you. You're going to be showing something special over here, yeah. right? Okay, we'll get to that in just a moment. Okay, feel like I'm all over the place. This is a weekly subscription service, and you receive fresh foods for you to cook. You also receive recipe cards, step-by-step -step instructions, and the food comes packed up perfectly with ice packs and, um, you know, cushiony packaging, and we will get to that in a second. The point behind the service is that it saves you from going to the grocery store, trying to be creative with your recipes, um, you know, branching out and trying new things. It also eliminates waste because you use everything that's in the box um, for each individual, like, recipe, so you don't have any leftovers. Because we do subscribe to this for two people, so just Logan and myself, I do have two kids. And I'll kind of get into how we work that into our routine here. Now, we felt that this service would benefit us because we found ourselves going out to dinner several nights in the week. And, I mean, that racks up. You're really not going out to dinner even just for two people and getting out of there under 50 bucks. It's just not going to happen. <laughs> no. And, no, huh? Going out to eat gets expensive. Yeah. And it's not healthy. So, the beauty of this is that you get the food, you get to feel fancy like you're a chef and cooking it yourself because you have, you know, raw meats and foods and things like that and you're chopping it up and cooking it yourself. Yeah. Are you dancing around? Because they're excited. This is a lot of fun because they help, the kids help me cook this um, each night. So, that's a really exciting too. So, you get to feel cool being a chef and then you have a plate that comes to the dinner table that not only looks like a restaurant made it, but it tastes amazing and it's all fresh and healthy generally there are different diet restrictions that you could do on the website if you're um, you know being careful on carbs if you have an allergy you could type that into the little quiz and then it pops up just recipes that will be good for you mm -hmm. and they're also helping your body because they're healthy they are they are generally pretty dang healthy there are some not so healthy options and they're delicious too but you definitely can go a more vegetarian route or healthier route. Oh, another thing I almost forgot to mention is most of these can be done in 25 to 40 minutes. And it has that listed down here on the bottom. Okay, so we have calorie content. What else do we have here? We have the time. We have how many days you need to make it in. We have whether it's easy, um, intermediate, or difficult. I don't think we've had a difficult one yet. I think we've only had... And even in this batch, all of them are easy level. Um, and then the spice level is on the end. And then basically what you can expect in your box, again, descriptions and um, cooking instructions and pictorials on the back. And they're all three hole punched already. All right, so we're eliminating leftovers. We're getting new recipes that you haven't tried before, or maybe you have, but it's vamped up a little bit differently. And having the food sent to you, it's saving you from running out to the grocery store for all of your evening meals. I found myself having difficulties getting creative with my recipe ideas towards the end of the night. I get home from work, I'm tired. I just want to eat something or have something that's just like idiot proof, like, hi, make me. And this service does that for us. So speaking about the recipe card, Sophia, do you want to show us the binder and then we'll go into opening the box. Okay. 
So this is the binder. Yeah, so we went out and got this binder, and this holds all of our... Recipes! Recipes! So uh, yes. another cool thing is they send you the recipe cards, which are on very thick, shiny cardstock. This kind of goes over what the um, dinner will be. And on the back end... It shows it, you how to cook it. You're right! So here you can see step-by-step -step instructions, a couple of pictorials, and then you get to hold on to this in a binder if you want to. Yeah. I like to hold on to them. Something that was really interesting that I found was, oh my gosh, this recipe right here. It was the roasted chicken with lemon and herb, compound butter, acorn squash, and pine nuts. I mean, doesn't that sound amazing? This is just one of the recipes that we have in here. And like I said, this little sidebar, this is how many we have in here. We've been doing this for quite a while. Now, I had never had acorn squash before. I didn't know how to make it. No idea that it even existed, to be honest with you. You know, I'm just not very cultured, I guess, in food. But I was able to try it with this service. And I actually went out to the grocery store with the kids the other day and bought two acorn squashes and made them for dinner, not only for ourselves, but for the kids. And they loved it. Remember you helped me rub the honey on it? Yeah. Your hands were all sticky, but it was good, huh? Yeah. It was really, really good. So that kind of got us to branch out and try new things. And there, it's a vegetable. I mean, it's healthy, right? Mm -hmm. Did you like it? Yeah. Yeah. What I mostly really liked was the honey on them. The honey on them? It made it a little bit sweet and gave you kind of like a coating, huh? Yeah. But I honestly never would have... I mean, I probably would have seen it on Pinterest, but I never would have taken the initiative to make it myself. So, yeah. I just wanted to share that little tidbit with you. Yes. And now we can get open up that box. Let's do it. Let's show them how it comes packaged. Okay, so it comes in a box like this I, to your front this. porch. Um, I cut the tape just for time's sake, but I have not opened it. All right, so right on top, you can see there is like some cushy packing. Let's see, do you want to pull some stuff out? There is a bunch, especially because we live in Arizona, there is a bunch of these ice packs. Some of them are melted at this point because I mean it's like five o'clock at night and this was probably delivered earlier. Okay, thank you. You want to help me hold it up? Oh, so strong. Thank you. And so as you can see, I mean there's like bubble wrap, there's all different kinds of wrappings around the side and then the food is right in here. Yeah. Okay, so let's, let's get... pull out this. Now the meals, I think this time we got four meals, because um, let me sidebar real quick again. Sorry, I'm really bad at this. We typically order anywhere from three to four meals. Now, on the other days, we make something that's big enough to have leftovers, and we usually keep that. <laughs> Look at her face. I'll show you. We'll show them in a second. Hold on. <laughs> She's excited. Oh, hold on. I'll tell you in a second. <laughs> We, we make a big dinner, have leftovers for the kids um, for the next night. So then Logan and I make like the fancier home chef stuff because some of the recipes the kids, let's face it, will not eat. Um, so they'll have the leftovers. We'll make our home chef. They can eat maybe even at a different time because we usually eat a little bit later because Logan gets home late from work. But that is how we kind of get through the week. Um, we make a couple of home meals, make a couple of home chef meals, and go from there. She's getting excited. Do you want to tell them about this? <laughs> That's my favorite one. Yeah. Well, we haven't tried this before, so it's not our favorite. We don't know just yet because that's another thing is none of the recipes repeat for a whole year. Um, and each week you kind of get to go on to your phone app or on the computer and you get to pick out what meals you want to have arrived to your house and which day of the week will work best for you. Now, we get ours on a Friday. Um, that's just kind of how it works best for us. And what was the other thing I was going to say? You can skip a week and you can um, switch up the meals. And because none of them repeat, there's nine selections that you have each week to choose from. So lots of variety, lots of menu choices. But this is the one you're getting excited yeah. about. This is a Mother's Day special. This one actually is feeds for four. Typically the meals feed for two, but what? I think you can double order and get meals for four what? if you can do that. But this one is something we're all gonna get to enjoy. Yeah! Um, it is strawberry French toast. Now they normally do not have breakfasty sort of menu items. They're more dinner themed items. Uh, but I saw this and I had to add it on there. Are you excited? I know. 
Um, and actually, let's show them the other recipes in yeah. a second. But this is how it comes packaged. This is the strawberry malt French toast casserole. And as you can see, it comes in an individual bag with all of the recipe items. Let me I don't tell have to you. do anything else other than cook it. And then it's sealed with the sticker with the item name on it. So then what I do is I put it in the fridge. Um, let's say it has a selection with meat or anything like that. I'll put the meat underneath, put this bag on top, put it in the fridge, and then I leave the recipe cards on the fridge door. And then some of them have like a seven day shelf life. Some of them have a three day. So I'll kind of put the three days up top. So I'll pick those first, five, six, seven, and so on. Hey buddy, welcome on in. You wanna join in? Yeah, sure. It's a family event now. All right, let's show them what else we're getting this week. Oh, it looks like we have something with butter, leaf lettuce, and this is like whole fresh, nothing's ever frozen, which is super nice. This is the mojito pork chops. Do you wanna find the recipe card for that one? Let's show them the picture of what that looks like. There's the mojito pork chops. I mean, seriously guys, I'm gonna make this dinner and it's gonna look very similar to that. Um, I'm sure I've popped up a couple of pictures that I've taken of meals that we've had throughout this whole adventure and they are seriously amazing. I, Do I have this one tonight? We cannot have that one tonight. That's for Mother's Day. That's a special. I did see the Father's Day special so be sure to click through to their website and see what that's going to be because it looked, guys, it looked good. Real good. Okay, what else do we have in here? This one is the sweet chicken lettuce wraps. Okay, so this one must have the butter leaf lettuce with them. I assume. Um, I would only know by looking at the recipe cards. Okay, so that's what those are going to look like. That looks amazing and healthy and light. And they fill you up. Okay, so that's another thing. When I first started doing this, I was looking at the, like, the bags and the recipe like this like this is one of the meals and i'm sure there's meat at the bottom to go with it because this is the feta and herb crusted salmon but when i looked at this kind of stuff i was like that is not going to fill me up like i am a true american i like my big portions but i am trying to like be more conscientious conscientious of what i'm eating and i have not found a meal no correction there has been one meal and it was like a taco meal that did not fill me up. Every single meal of these, there has been maybe a bite or two left that I'm like, whoo, oh, I want to finish it because it like is amazing, but I'm not hungry. Another one for this week is the pecan, pecan crusted chicken with barbecue spiced carrots. That looks amazing and I cannot wait to show you guys what it looks like in real life. I will likely post a picture on social media or maybe if I make it before I edit this video, I'll pop it in here. But let's look at the meat. So the meat is always at the bottom. And there's a bunch more ice packs in there. That's how I know I hit the bottom. Yeah. And these ones at the bottom are still hard. So they're still frozen, which is really a relief for me. Because like I said, we live in Arizona. It's hot as heck outside. And I worry about the meat spoiling and the vegetables and stuff like that because everything is fresh. So we do have this. And another cool thing these ice packs are reusable. So we have kept a bunch of these in the freezer out in the garage for us to use when we go on vacations or little trips like that. All right, this here is the, I assume, pork for the mojito pork chops. Um, see how it comes just like wrapped up like that. Um, we have one of the salmon fillets here, like Ooh, this. It looks like What else do we got? It looks like we have some marinated possibly chicken breast. And looks like there's another chicken and another salmon. So that is how everything is packaged up. And I have one thing to tell you. On the salmon, it looks like a fish right here. It does. It's got its skin still on. But that's how it keeps its flavor, huh? Yeah. Yeah. You can help me cook some of these meals? Yeah. Awesome. I feel like there might be something I'm forgetting, so be sure to ask me in the comments down below. Um, I'll also leave any other de details in the description box. I will do a whole separate video of us cooking up one of these recipes coming up here shortly, if that's even something you want to see. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if that is something you want to see, and comment down below. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. 
Follow our blog at sparklemepink.com and we'll see you in our next video. Yeah! Bye!